Chapter 10, Frobscottle and Whiz Poppers. By now, Sophie was beginning to feel not only extremely hungry, but very thirsty as well. Had she been at home, she would have finished her breakfast long ago. Are you sure there's nothing else to eat around here except those disgusting, smelly snozcumbers? She asked. Not even a fizzwinkle, answered the big friendly giant. In that case, may I please have a little water? She said. Water? said the BFG, frowning mightily. What is water? We drink it, Sophie said. What do you drink? Frobscottle, announced the BFG. All giants is drinking Frobscottle. Is it as nasty as your snozcumbers? Sophie asked. Nasty, cried the BFG. Oh, never is it nasty. Ho, ho. Frobscottle is sweet and jumbly. He got up from his chair and he went to a second huge cupboard. He opened up the cabinet and took out a glass bottle that must have been six feet tall, the bottle. The liquid inside it was pale green and the bottle was half full. Here is Frobscottle, he cried, holding the bottle up proud and high as though it contained some rare wine. Delumptuous fizzy frobscottle, he shouted. He gave it a shake, and the green stuff began to fizz like mad. But, but look, it, it's fizzing the wrong way, Sophie cried. And indeed it was. The bubbles, instead of traveling upwards and bursting on the surface in a kind of foam, the bubbles were shooting downwards and bursting at the bottom. A pale green frothy fizz was forming at the bottom of the bottle. What on earth is you mean in the wrong way? asked the BFG. In our fizzy drinks, Sophie said, the bubbles always go up and they burst at the top. <laughs> Upwards is the wrong way, cried the BFG. You mustn't ever be having the bubbles going upwards. Oh, that's the most flush bunkin' rubbish I ever is hearing. Why do you say that? Sophie asked. You is asking me why? cried the BFG, waving the enormous bottle around as though he were conducting an orchestra. You is actually meaning to tell me you cannot see why it is a scrotty mistake to have the bubbles flying up instead of down? You said it was flush bunking, and now you say it's scrotty. Which is it? Sophie asked politely. Both, cried the BFG. It is a flush bunking and a scrotty mistake to let the bubbles go upwards. If you can't see why, you must be as quacky as a duck hound. By Ringo, your head must be so full of frog squinkers and buzzwangles. <laughs> I is frittered if I know how you can think at all. Why wouldn't the bubbles go upward? Sophie asked. I will explain, said the BFG. But tell me first, what name is your calling your frog scottle by? Uh, one is Coca-Cola, Sophie said. Um, and another is Pepsi. Uh, there are lots of them. And the bubbles is all going up? They all go up, Sophie said. Catastrous, <laughs> cried the BFG. Up going bubbles is a, a catastrophic disaster. Uh, will you please tell me why, Sophie said. If you listen carefully, I will try to explain, said the BFG. But your brain is so full of bug whiffles, I doubt you will ever understand. I'll do my best, Sophie said patiently. Very well then. When you is drinking this cokery drink of yours, said the BFG, it is going straight down into your tummy. Is that right or left? Um, that's right, Sophie said. And the bubbles is going also into your tummy? Right or left? Uh, right again, 
Sophie said. And the uh, bubbles is fizzing upwards? Yeah, of course, Sophie said. Which means, said the B of G, that they will all come swish whiffling up your throat and out of your mouth, and they will make a thousand belchy burp. Um, yeah, that's, that's often true, Sophie said. But what's wrong with a little burp every now and then? It's, it's sort of fun. Oh, burp, it is filthsome, the BFG. Us giants is never doing it. But with your drink, Sophie said, uh, what was it you called it again? Frobscuttle, said the BFG. Oh, okay, with Frobscuttle, Sophie said, the bubbles in your tummy will be going downwards. Oh, and that could have a far nastier result. Why nasty? Asked the BFG frowning. Because, Sophie said, blushing a little, if the bubbles go down instead of up, uh, they'll be coming out somewhere else with an even louder and ruder noise. Ha 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 ha! Whiz, Papa! Ha <laughs> ha! Cried the BFG, beaming at her. Oh, us giants is making whiz poppers all the time. Ha <laughs> ha! Whiz popping is a sign of happiness. It is music in our ears. You surely is not telling me that a little whiz popping is forbidden among human beings. Um, whiz popping is extremely rude. Sophie said. But you is whiz poppin', is you not? Now and again? Asked the BFG. Yeah, everyone is whiz popping, if uh, that's what you call it. Sophie said. Kings and queens are whiz popping. Presidents are whiz popping. Glamorous film stars are whiz popping. Little babies are whiz popping. Yep, but where I come from, it is not polite to talk about it, Sophie said. Radunculus, said the BFG. If everyone is making whiz poppers, then why not talk about it? We is now having a swiggle of this delicious frop scottle, and you will see the happy result. The BFG shook the bottle vigorously. The pale green stuff fizzed and bubbled. He removed the cork, and he took a tremendous gurgling swig. Scummy, he cried. I love it. <laughs> and for a few moments, the big friendly giant stood quite still. A look of absolute ecstasy, happiness, began to spread over his long, wrinkly face. And then suddenly, the heavens opened up. Ooh, and he let fly with a series of the loudest and rudest noises Sophie had ever heard in her life. <laughs> they reverberated or echoed around the walls of the cave like thunder, and the glass jars rattled on their shelves. But most astonishing of all, the force of the explosions actually lifted the enormous giant clear off his feet like a rocket. Whoopee! He cried. And then when he came down to earth again, now that is whiz poppin' for you! <laughs> Sophie burst out laughing. She could not help it. Oh, have some yourself, cried the BFG, tipping the neck of the enormous bottle towards her. Um, don't you have a cup? Sophie said, no cups, only bottle. Sophie opened her mouth, and very gently, the BFG tipped the bottle forward and poured some, some of the fabulous frob scottle down her throat. Oh, and oh, how gosh delicious it was. It was sweet and refreshing. Oh, it tasted of vanilla and cream with just the faintest trace of raspberries on the edge of the flavor. Ah, and the bubbles were wonderful. Oh, Sophie could actually feel the bubbles bouncing and bursting all around her tummy. Oh, it was an amazing sensation. It felt, oh yeah, it felt as though hundreds of tiny people were dancing a jig inside her and tickling her with their toes. Oh, it was lovely. It's lovely, 
she cried. Oh, just wait, said the BFG, flapping his ears. Sophie could feel the bubbles traveling lower and lower down her tummy. And then suddenly, ooh, inevitably, it had to happen. The explosions came. <laughs> The trumpets sounded, and she, too, made the walls of the cavern ring with the sound of music and thunder. Oh, bravo, bravo, shouted the BFG, waving the bottle. Oh, you is very good for a beginner. <laughs> Let's have some more. 